Nina clearly looks like a man. She clearly looks like a man. And you know the man she looked like. And you you look at her good, like that. You look free. Oh, and Billy and I gotta watch you, man. You look free. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Mina, what are you niggas seeing Mina, bro? She clearly looks like a man. Like, you niggas don't see that? Y'all fat. Y'all freaky, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all freaky, bro. You niggas is Lunze, Bronte. K.I. Geeks Gang. Gooks Block. Billy City. You niggas freaks, bro. And Billy, I ain't gonna lie. This is going to affect the presidential race, I think, a lot more than people know, man. Because a lot of people go that not with Trump, the more and more Venezuelans start tweaking, the more and more going to start favoring that president with the border control rules. It's a foreign Americans war that's trying to push up to the other other motherfuckers from shit, you know? Stop trying to pick up the other crowds, the other countries, the other this, the other that. They start focusing on America and our needs and what we can say and what we like and what we want to be. Trump can win a race that a lot of people didn't want him to lose because of the simple fact that a lot of people are going to be operating in fear. And they're going to go, and they're going to go to a president, bro. He, that can take fear from us as people and instill fear in people who's not with us or from our country. Hey goofball, rat, stupid, sell out, dumb, fake tough guy, gang banging nigga, snitch 600, oops, I meant Tay 600, oops I did it again, Tay Capone, stop talking politics. You don't know anything about immigration policy. Educate yourself on the bipartisan border legislation bill that your guy, Donald Trump, had the Republicans in Congress kill in order to help his re-election campaign before you talk shit. We already know that you and Team 600 lost the Game of Thrones to Lil Durk and OTF. You're a gangbanger or ex-gangbanger slash struggle rapper and blogger or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, but one thing that you are not is smart. That's cool. But no one needs your extra commentary or advice. Just ask C Day or Rondo Number Nine. You're attempting to divide people like Lil Durk and Donald Trump instead of uniting people like Barack Obama or Kamala Harris. So I'm gonna call your bitch ass out. You sound dumb and ignorant. You're a rat bastard and a disgrace to black men. Why should anyone listen to your thoughts on the presidential race, clown? You're a low information voter, if you vote at all, and No Limit Cairo still thinks you're a lame that bent your knee to 051 Melly, even if he is locked up right now, and you spread fear to black people that Venezuelan migrants are invading our country to take black jobs. So, why bend your knee to white Jesus Trump and still act like your gang gang, bitch ass nigga? My guess is, it's because you're a man with low self esteem, chasing clout on the internet acting like an OG from these Chicago streets, when in actuality, you have always lived your life in the shadow of your big brother. Oops, I did it again, your big sister, Mina Red. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you agree. I offer you a choice. Bend the knee and join me. Together, we will change the world a better place than we found it. Or it is. Bend the knee and join me. Oh, Billy, I didn't text him. I'm like, I'm gonna text him and see what's going on. So I text Melly. I'm just kidding, so I didn't. Bend the knee or suffer the fate of all traces. And switch the fight to the marriage of Gary. Bend the knee.